right, so we're going to do an unboxing video of this very cheap Krug machine, K-cup machine, or whatever you want to call it. can't pronounce it. It's from Walmart, mainstay brand. All right. We'll do an unboxing, and then we're going to do a review of this machine. It was only $20. So we'll see if uh, if it's worth every penny. <laughs> and uh, to stay true to form of being cheap, cheap, we got the Walmart Great Value Blend brand K cups. All right, let's get this open. All right. It comes with a mesh filter, permanent filter for ground coffee. So you don't need the paper filters to make yourself a cup of ground coffee. Coffee. And, uh,. Sorry, doing all this one-handed. And uh, there's the bottom great thing here. Uh, not going to be too critical of the packaging because it is, after all, a budget-oriented item. Let's open her up see what it looks like uh, the quality of the door is flimsy <laughs> okay let's look down the water reservoir okay I guess that's where you pour the water in let's see if this will open uh, I can't open it let's see how do you open this How do you open this? Houston, we have a problem. Okay, you push it in. And you push it. <laughs> okay, and then that's where the cup goes. Or if you don't use a cup, you could use this filter cup. Not quite sure how. Oh, okay, I guess this whole thing comes out. Okay, now I see. This whole thing comes out. This is for the cups, uh, crew cup, K cups. And if you don't want to use the K cups, you use this filter, put this in there like that. Okay, and you put the ground coffee in there and you make coffee. Okay, so once again, you push in to open okay all right so we're gonna initially fill it up with some distilled water and kind of flush everything out since it's brand new uh with uh, items like this anything that has to do with boiling water you want to use distilled water okay because uh if you use regular tap water or even purified regular purified water it will leave calcium deposits and it will eventually build up minerals and calcium deposits and, and and next thing you know, the thing won't work well. So a lot of the times, especially if it's a cheap device, you want to use from the beginning to end distilled water. Okay, distilled water. All right, so that's a little tip there. All right, so we're going to cut this unboxing off and the next video we'll do is a little... I guess a uh, taste test review to see how it makes the coffee and everything. All right, stand by. So it's just, uh, just put the water in. I just poured some water in the reservoir and turned it to um, ground coffee make. And the uh, light is flashing. And uh, almost in about uh, 15 to 20 seconds, it started to make the boiling noise. So. We'll see how fast it uh, makes a cup of coffee, but 
Right now, I just put in water and no coffee, just to flush out the flush out the system. Just clean it up a little bit. But this will uh, show you how fast the water is going to boil and uh, fill up the cup. All right, it's already steaming up here at the top. Just put the, I just put the water in maybe about a little bit over a minute ago. Uh, we got a little bit of uh, steam coming out of here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put one of these screw cups, caramel flavor. Let's take a peek in here see if uh, the water is filling up. No, nothing yet. Maybe uh, we just switch up. Mm. Okay, let's switch up and see what the. Let's put that in there and see what happens. Okay. No water came out. There you go. All right, so when you put in the K-cup uh, adapter and no K-cup, and you press that button, it'll just boil the water, but no water will come out at the end. You have to put in the regular coffee, ground coffee filter in for the water to come out, the boiling water to come out. So when you want to just simply boil water, you have to use the uh, ground coffee uh, filter and if you want to uh, water to come out or make K-cup coffee you have to use the K-cup attachment all right so that's a I would say that is a very full cup of coffee there the water is pretty hot Okay, so let's uh, dump this out. Alright, so what we're going to do is, so we don't want to overdo it, so what we'll do is we'll just pour in the amount of water that we're going to want to make coffee with. We're going to use that much water. Alright. And uh, we're going to pour that in. The top here. I'm going to put that on the bottom. I know it's uh, making a video, making something simple as a K-cup cup of coffee. It sounds a little ridiculous, but after all, this is a review of a d item that is very very inexpensive compared to its competitors and uh, it's kind of important that I think I think it's kind of important that we do a video reviewing it because a lot of the times you buy something too cheap and it doesn't work well and uh, we shall see okay so we'll push the we'll close it all right there we close it and then we will push the capsule button right here all right and see when how well that fills up and how long that takes all right so yeah this twenty dollars not bad if it 
does what it's supposed to do. Because if you can make regular brewed coffee and K-cup coffee, it's a pretty good deal, I think. And uh, the the uh, other brands are at least twice as much in You might be able to catch one on sale for maybe about $30. Seems to boil the water pretty fast. But then again, everything new works pretty good at the beginning. Well, like I said, if you use distilled water, uh, usually um, these things tend to last a little longer than if you use tap water. I say if I get at least a good six months to a year use out of this, I say it's worth it. Worth it. Because if you buy an expensive brand, uh, those take maintenance too. You have to replace certain parts or use certain maintenance uh, steps I think they have some kind of uh, liquid that you uh, boil, boil the uh, uh, through the machine and uh, so it'll clean out the all the sediments and the minerals and deposits and calcium deposits and everything you know when you spend money to do that um, it adds to the price of the original device with this, it was only $20, so if I use it for six months and it breaks down or it doesn't work well, I just go buy a new one, <laughs> but then uh, I won't be out too much too much of a money. All right, that look, coffee looks pretty good. I might have made it too a little too watery. Might have put too much water in there. But I don't think it's supposed to... Well, I, th I don't think it's supposed to matter. I think the machine is supposed to determine how much water is going to boil into the cup, right? So, it really doesn't matter how much water you pour into the machine, hopefully. Uh, but that is the amount of water I poured into the machine. So, I don't know. Maybe the machine's not sophisticated enough to determine how much water you really... Uh, need to boil I mean to make a cup it just uh, makes the amount of water you put in so let's taste it oh yeah not bad not bad at all um that's uh saying a lot for this too uh generic brand Caramel. Okay. Single serve cup. All right. I get it. It's not bad at all. All right. So if this ever breaks down in the next few weeks or, or real soon, I'll do a follow-up video and tell you guys all about it. But for now, initially, the first cup, thumbs up, $20, thumbs up, uh, the way it boiled water, the amount of time it took. Thumbs up. Not bad. Alright. Thanks for watching.